Hello and welcome to Kern County. We are here for the finale of the Kern County Championship, which is K5 Championship Season 5. We are headed up for qualifying, and I did not get nearly enough practice. Just got home, and uh, <laughs> am, uh, just kind of got a couple laps in for uh, the end session practice, but not quite feeling as comfortable as I would like to be. We're still going to qualify and everything, but um, not expecting all too much from myself. I just uh, want to be able to have a consistent pace, hopefully be able to run clean and smart for a long one here. I think this should be the longest race of the season. Green, we'll go green, over green. that, the total green, laps okay. and stuff minute. Now it's all about trying to get a good lap in. Wow, why did that get so tight? What the heck? It didn't turn at all. Uh, this is what happens whenever uh, I don't practice enough. Track is so tight. Hopefully this lap counts. I know we hit the wall pretty close to the uh, exit there. Can't place. We didn't even get to the 18s, which is scary. I guess we just overdrove it, but yeah, that was awful. It just did not turn for me. Look at that. Wow. The setup, uh, very, very tight. And uh, it just felt more tight right there than it did for pra for me all practice, it felt like. That was pretty absurd. So we're not starting too well. That's okay. That's what happens when you don't get enough practice. My brake bice is where I want it, right? I moved it all the way back to 57, trying to get this thing to turn, because it is just a plow box, <laughs> the way it is right now. Oh no! I just crashed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, let's get back in as soon as possible. I'm hoping we should have enough time, but that's not what you want to see. Sorry, I think you've got a black screen right now. Um, apologies for that. Try to get back in as soon as I can. I guess in the meantime, while I'm waiting for the ability to load back in, we can look at the league standings, something I was going to do anyway. Um, pretty much out of it, though. You may have noticed last week I did not uh, have a... Ra uh... Do I have to leave the session? I don't know. I did not have a race upload, and that's because my computer unplugged. Or not unplugged, but uh, it powered off because I, I guess my desk bumped the power cable where it goes into the wall. And uh, my computer shut off while I was in second place, seeing if I could uh, go for the, the lead. Which was very unfortunate. I hated that, in fact. But it is what it is. Um, but, of course, missing an essentially missing out on an entire race means that uh, we don't really have a chance in the championship anymore, unfortunately. But still might be fun to look at and know who's going for the the win tonight to become champion. I'm guessing it's probably Mitch. Um, he was right there with us at the top uh, last time. I had checked. I didn't even look after the last race because I'm like, well, I don't even want to know because I'm so sad about how that went. But yeah, sorry about the blank screen for so long. Oh, we had the iRacing loading up. So I saw that at least. But uh, we'll look at the standings here. And it is Mitch with 112 at the top. Um, I don't think there's any way we get past Shane um, or Mitch unless something catastrophic happens. But Hey, maybe we can get that bronze trophy if we uh, hold it together. So, just a quick look at that so we know what's up. Why is my computer failing? It's crashing again. Why did that happen? Alright, I'll be right back. 
Well, we're back. We missed the start, but hopefully we'll get cautions and stuff. Um, maybe we won't lose too much. But, uh, so much for qualifying. This stinks. Yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, I don't know why it failed two times in a row there. Some sort of mem memory issue, I guess, but... I'm not fast enough to stay in front of Tracy, so I don't know what I'm going to do here. <sighs> Just going to let the field go by. Did he seriously just back up? Closed. Pit road is closed. Catch up. 57. Car. Pass the paid car. We think that. Right. Has been five. Dead. Car. Catch up. Five. Car. Is car. Out. Single file behind car number zero five. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. Right. Just about as stupid of a start as that could have possibly been. Get the five car. Uh, uh, now I got backed up into. Road's open. Pits are open. Half that five. Thank yeah. goodness. It's like I get the wave around though, thank goodness. My iris crashed twice in a row. I don't even know why. Alright, well, Nick throws us a bone. Oh, Wesley says his UI keeps crashing. I wonder if it's a similar issue. Oh, nine. Alright, well that's a bit of a mess of a start here. Oh, Daniel coming out of the pits. So, uh, what are we going to do here? I guess just be extra soft on the tires, because what else are we going to do? I also no longer have my race labs, I can see. Maybe I can fix that real quick. No, not looking like it. Pit road is closed My race right lab now. is not working. We're under caution. Pits closed. So that's unfortunate, but we'll just have to go without it. Uh, we're going to be really, really patient. I didn't hear what Gavin said earlier. Have to adjust my volume here. That's a rough start. <laughs> We're just gonna have to try to be extra, extra patient, be really good to the tires, and see if that pays off really well for us. And uh, they already wrecked once, so maybe it's gonna be a case where. Uh, We'll just survive by attrition. 300 laps here. Green, green, green. Daniel says outside. Inside. Clear. I think my brake bias went reverted because I went out of the session. 
that sucks because I can only go 5% further back and we need that break bias much farther back than default in order to save the right front, so that really sucks. Yeah, we can't change that anymore, so that's fun. We're just going to be extra, extra soft, I guess. Okay, Colton, the next car is right. They're running into each other, and the 58 gets dumped. And there's no caution. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, end up lapped now at this rate. Outside. I don't know who got into me, but I understand that was my fault. I got that. Like the 37 got on the back of him, I'm not sure why. Maybe he got loose. Oh my gosh, speaking of loose, Rick is getting loose in front of us. That was a nice save, though, Car outside. Keep low. Clear outside. Yeah, I thought for sure that was the next caution. In case we go long run, I mean, I would really like to not get lapped. P19. Again. That uh, crashing issue I had does not become a common thing. I don't know why it happened. I basically closed everything on my computer after I uh, I paused. I did hit record again, right? Yes. Okay. I closed everything and then reopened it, and uh, thankfully it worked the next time around. But. Got the 37 going to the apron, maybe feeling bad about the incident that occurred. P18. I'm running this very bottom. Let's see if that helps our tires out here. Kind of going extra soft through the corners. Try not to slide up at all. Be a uh, very gentle on exit because the car is so unbelievably tight. We've got a long, long way to go. The gap to Keely behind is now. I'm gonna try and not to turn my steering wheel if I can avoid it. Trying to use the brake bias to turn it. I would have liked to have more brake bias to help turn it, but I don't have that anymore, I don't think. Whoa. Dante blinking out. Well, we've gone green after that first thing that happened. Just a huge mess. Of course, the guy spun right in front of me whenever I was trying to just get going again. I was not going to put myself in the middle of the pack, so I was just going to let everybody go. And then they spin in front of me, and I'm like, I'm on the apron. I can't just go back onto the track. So I figure, all right, I'll wait and slow down and go around him. And then he backed up into me. The driver in front of us is right. But Nick nice enough because uh, he must have noticed I missed his start to uh, wave me around. That was cool of him. He didn't have to do that. Go ahead, Frank. I see you, buddy. And he tries to do that uh, for people that missed the start for whatever reason. Right on, man. Thanks. But generally, the, the vibe here is like uh, running kind of like official race rules. Thank you. I'm thankful that uh, yes, he did that for us. Kind of slowly making our way back closer to the field here. Still going extremely soft. 
And I'm going so slow through the court, I'm wondering if shifting is going to be a thing. I tried it there, it didn't, didn't work. Messed it up. I don't think I should anyway. That's probably just a bad idea. Okay, Colton, your water temperature looks quite high. Why does our water temperature? Good consistency. Okay. Keep them coming. Well, that was a Doesn't look all that bad. Spotter probably just being touchy. There's no reason the temperature should be high, though. We don't even. We can't even set our tape anymore. Though it does look like it's climbing a little bit. It's at 244. So we'll keep an eye on it and see what happens. The gap to right in front is now 0.8. Kind of peaks uh, into 245. Going up overall. Seems to hit uh, its highest when we enter turn one. We'll just keep it up just in case that becomes an unexpected issue. That's what happens when your fiance shows you a new sweater. Thank you. No idea what that comment means. <laughs> he's speaking in code. I think he's about to hike the ball or something. That's what happens when your wife shows you a new sweater hike. Okay, Colton. Pass me right here. Pass me. Pass me. Oh. You two, Colton. Pass me. Pass me. Pass me. Pass me. Pass me. We're looking to make it about halfway on fuel, it looks like. About 150. We make it quite a long way. It's lots of off throttle time here. It's entering much slower, so I gotta be careful. Center corner speed is real slow. But I don't need to be overdriving anyway. It's a little bit loose on exit, a little more than I might expect. Interesting that we're kind of getting on the right rear a little bit once we get through the corner about halfway. I can get a little bit of uh, oversteer. That's unexpected given how the thing has been handling so far. Your last lap time was at 20.2. And 17th, that's not the worst. Just have to try to move our way forward throughout the race. It is a very long one. So we have time. See you guys getting loose on entry, it looks like. Sanity car is always a big challenge. It's, it's a tough one to drive, and even tougher to be fast. It always kind of reacts in surprising ways on the long runs, I feel like. I 
It's at least been my experience. Coming up on Allen. It's Dante getting there first. Oops. Tracy has taken the lead, apparently. He and Mitch having another great race, I imagine. The lap time was at Two very, very fast guys on short tracks. It doesn't look like we're uh, on deck to get lapped. Thanks. At least uh, not yet. Whoa. It's really scared me, these guys getting pitched on the entries. I'll take a look into the inside. See if maybe we can uh, take advantage of the open door. Car outside. Still there, hold your line. Still there, hold your line. Clear up top, your outside. Time was 20.3. Still there. Clear high. Clear us and then park it. Hit the brakes real hard. It's fine. Whoa, he's getting loose. Car inside. Still there. Clear but it was inside. outside then, I suppose. You've just done inside. it. Inside. Still there, inside. Still there, hold your line. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Whoa, getting loose up there is Dante. Clear inside, inside. Oh, he almost hits Still us. My fault, sorry Colton, you got in too high. Stay high. Taps our left side. rear. No, you're just trying Clear. to keep me behind you. You're good. This thing is a bit tough on these longer runs. Whew. It's feeling really uh, skatey on the rear tires for me. Especially on entry and exit. Kind of finds its uh, path midway through the corner. Slow car ahead. Slow car ahead. Slow car ahead. Not sure what that is, but doesn't look good. No caution. The car in front of us is now the page. Inside. Clear inside. Those will be some spots for whatever happened there. P15. Uh oh, there's Tracy. Four seconds back. The gap to Nelson. 
ahead is now 0.8. We need a caution. Get a nice reset. Picking up to Zach, it looks like he's got some damage from whatever happened. Base is still catching. Zach maybe got the wall on entry there. Looked like he did. He's not turning all too well, I don't think. Outside. The gap behind is now more clear. Three. Outside. And get around him. B14. B14. That lap time was 20.5. Really sketchy how this thing's handling. It gets real oh, loose, right. and it's only seeming to get worse. I'd be very curious to see what the tires actually are right now. I'm almost getting like a four tire slide on the entries, and I don't even feel like I'm entering that hard at all. That lap was a 20.6. Long way to go still, but I do not want to go a lap down. Hoping that uh, our tire wear is going to be better, but somehow I doubt it. I bet Tracy's faster and better on the uh, tires. Seems to be a thing that happens. V14. Thank you. Interesting that the fall off has been not very big. That lap was a Our Q time was 20.0. Wait, no, it wasn't. It was a 19 off. Never mind. It's off by a second. But I am looking at uh, how much green we're getting on the at the end of these laps. That's interesting to me. Seems like there's a lot of people spread out too, so not a not a small chance we'll get uh, even longer green around here. If we have to do green flag pit stops, that's certainly going to be interesting. The gap behind is now 1.7 seconds. Basically, it's now three seconds behind. It's gained. Over a second since I last looked, so that's not good. We are like trying to wreck out of the corner. Gotta be really gentle with it, I guess. Driving harder. Let's see if I can get some more pace so I don't go a lap down, or at least can hold it off for longer.
found like a diamond line. That didn't really work there, though. You've just done a 20.6. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. The gap behind is now 1.7 seconds. I'm a cab into one, Dan. You see, it's uh, just about reached James behind us. slide there that was pretty awful it's a really a fine line you can gain some speed if you enter harder but if you enter too hard it just starts sliding no grip whatsoever a bit too high up the track there we get a pretty good run off though actually let me try this line up here uh, the leader is coming up on you. They're not our fight. If there's anything there. B13. Now, I feel like I want to put my brake bias forward a little bit. I'm afraid to try it right now, though. Ugh, got loose. You've just done a 20.7. All right, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. Really do not want to go lap down, but I'm not going to hold them off either. Zones here. Slow car ahead. Oh my god, I thought that was the caution we needed. Inside. Clear. Fresh tires coming up? Is that what I'm looking at? I don't know, because I don't have my race lab, but it looks like yeah. Dakota's got fresh tires. Still there, hold your line. Clear. The gap to right ahead is increasing. It's now 3.4. Just gonna slide through the corner. The car in front is ah. right. It goes. Inside. Okay, Clear. Button. We're in the lucky dog position right now. King. It's getting close. Oh, we a really well timed to caution. Taking a completely different approach. I think I can learn something, maybe. There's no... I can barely get this thing on throttle, though. B12. Car outside. Keep low. 
Clear outside if you want it. Ox. Uh, no grip at all. At least we've got a little bit of time before Tracy laps the next person. Maybe we'll be lucky and get the lucky dog, but Nick's going to want that from us too. He's right behind us and he wants the lucky dog. Mitch is a second and a half back. We're gonna have to let him go by when he gets up here. Time was at this thing is evil, man. I don't know what I did wrong with the tires, but it's not good. Your last lap time was at twenty point eight. Man, it feels like my right rear is already gone. Inside. Clear inside. We're inside. But only temporarily. That was a 20.0. The gap ahead is now 3.4 seconds. That lap was a 20.8. Okay, Colton, push now. We need to pass this guy to get the lucky dog position. Dang it. We're not in lucky dog anymore. Sean is now in the next position for it. can't take a wave around either if, if a caution comes out because I can't drive this thing. I'm not going to wreck myself <laughs> on these old tires. I'm trying to get a wave around. Mitch coming up quick. Yeah. yeah, I need to put my brake bias up. Too much uh, looseness on braking. Might not even be able to stay in front of James, though. Just lap traffic in this race, I think. Loose on the straightaway. Oh man. That lap time was 20.7. Alright, 
Colton, there's a car exit in the pits, heads up. I'll see third place coming up anytime soon, it looks like, so at least we don't have to worry about that. Uh oh, smoke. Somebody was half spinning. A full spin though. We're green. Much to my dismay. Though it has been a great race. Regardless if I've been a part of it or not. Jesus Christ, it's just sliding through the whole corner. I can't barely drive this thing. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Clear inside, car inside. Still inside. 13th place. Still there, inside. Still there at the bottom. It just feels like it's gonna loop. I, ha I have no, almost no control over this. The car inside. 14th. Still there. Right, Still clear in. inside. The car inside. Clear inside. We're going long as possible. think. Is that right? And we're making it to 150, so we're just going to do that. Well, I'm going to need a stop, even though at this point, probably make up the time by doing an extra stop of speed. It's probably smart. But we got to try to catch a caution, I think, if we want to get back on the lead lap. You've just done a 20.9. Car ahead. Uh oh. Somebody spun. It's Rick. He was already a lap down to us. At least one lap down. Smoking car up there, it looks like. It's still Rick, I think. B13. Oh, whoa, guy had getting loose. James. Was for a second. Gavin's coming up on us. Gotta let him by. Can't inside. control this You're thing. Three wide. Clear. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I don't know what I did compared to everybody else. Maybe I'm just bad, and everybody else can hold on to this, but... My lord. Hi, right, Joe. I'm calling in. I barely put throttle into it. P12. I might hit this thing just so I don't wreck. Car inside. Still there, Inbound. hold your line. You bet. Clear. 13. Brandon, we'll go high for him. Inside. 
Oh my god, it's like snapping while straight. <laughs> I can't believe how hard this is to drive. I am so curious what the tires are gonna say. That was a 20.9. I'm not liking how the very, very bottom feels, actually. Guess if the car's gonna turn so well, let it turn. Just keep doing that, I guess. All my struggles were P12, which isn't the worst. It's just so difficult. That we uh, also have guys that have pit ahead of us, I guess. And that's kind of messing things up. It almost snapped. It's not even snap, it's just it's like a slow spin, really. So maybe snap isn't the right word. But it's just on ice. We might as well be racing right now. I just nearly spun on the straightaway. This tire's cool. If I can. can't even go full throttle anymore, I think. I'm gonna have to start partial throttling it for most of the straightaway. We'll pit this time. I'm kinda just trying to do what the car wants so it doesn't spin. The car in front needs pitting. We gotta let Alan buy us. Inside. Still there. Stay high to the car on the low side. Still there, hold your line. Clear. P11. I can't even talk much. I know it's been pretty quiet. I can't even talk much. I can barely control this thing. John's gonna pass us after pitting, I think, here. He's already pit. Let him go on the inside. Car inside. P10. Clear. Inside. King on fresh tires. Clear inside. The gap in front is now 0.8. Tracy's gonna lap us again. We're gonna go two yeah. laps down. That's absurd. We are so bad. Sharp behind is increasing. It's now 0.8. Go ahead, Nick. The leader is coming up on you. They're not our fight. Thank you, sir. Nick coming up on us. Tracy's almost left to fifth place.
that lap was a 20.7. Thanks, Doctor. The car behind is reeling you in. The gap is now not much. Gosh, I did not expect to catch him that quick. Or I did. Still there, inside. Clear. P12. Go ahead for Nick here. Car inside. Clear. Casey's gonna lap us again. Inside. Clear inside. Inside. Sir. So Still bad. Inside. The front is increasing. It's now not my tight. Still inside. Clear inside. Just hold on. We'll see how much we can we can get out of this race. It's not gonna be much, but hopefully something. Stop down low. Car inside. Keep high. Did he pass the clear? Inside. Still there. Yeah, a couple Time guys were sure about the clear. But they just ain't flying. I think I think I think staying below the uh, uh the apron is definitely helping that knock them off. P twelve. Oh, we're seeing a lot of smoke, that's for sure. More people spin out potentially. Very, very slow through the middle of the corner. I can barely control this thing, man. It's unbelievable. I don't know what I did wrong, but I did it real, real wrong. Inside. Stay high. Still there, hold your line. The gap in front has increased to 0.8. Still there, inside. Keep high. Clear. B13. Inside. Still there, inside. Still inside. Clear. 25 laps of fuel left. Trying to make it to 150 or, or a little bit more than that. To eliminate a stop, but I don't think that was the right play at this point. Because it's looking like the guys that pit are getting by us because we're so slow. No, I'm gripping the wheel so tight. B12. We haven't had a caution in so long. Inside. Nick's got new tires. I didn't realize that. It's one of those things Race Lab would have told me. Should have 
be able to pay attention. Well, though, I know that. So focused on just not spinning right now. Because of how bad my car feels. Whoa, Alan going to the inside a little bit. Oh, he's pitting, okay. The car inside. Still there, hold your line. Clear. Brandon coming around. That was a 21.1. The gap ahead is now 0.7. Oh, contact. With the lap car. They're okay, though. I feel like a feather could land in my car and I'd spin out right now, so I don't know how they're able to do that. Your lap time was at 20.8. Outside. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Still there, hold your line. Clear. Okay, Colton. What a crazy race, though. One caution early and then now we've gotten so many laps green. Inside. Still there, inside. That last Clear. Clear. No, easy now. Alright. And I'm kind of dreading this uh, green flag pit stop. I didn't get to practice that because I didn't get to practice much at all anyway. And this is a really tough pit road to get onto, so that is going to be intimidating. We're halfway in the race. Car inside. The gap to King ahead. Is still there? Hold now. your line. Clear. So we get Dante around us. The gap to Charles behind is now 1.1 seconds. Charles, the car behind is pitting. Four sets of tires. You've just done a 21.1. I guess I'd have to be much more gentle on exit this next run. I don't know what else I can do to prevent the rear T11. tires from feeling so awful. Inside. Clear inside. I don't know how the, everyone else is doing it. I'm, I've just missed something completely on how to approach this. The car behind is catching. The gap's now 4.2. Other uh, car that's on the lead, oh, lead lap coming up on us. I can not drive this thing. Inside. But uh, we'll take the high line Stay this high corner. The car on the low side. Clear. Might be coming in soon. Daniel has pit. He's in a similar similar situation to us. Inside. Clear. Coming to our inside. Stay high. Clear inside. Car inside. So far off. Clear place. inside. Gotta come in now. The gap to Roberts ahead is increasing. It's now 1.1. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Alright, All right, well, we'll see how we cycle out. One. Right here. 
Not a very good pit entry because I never practiced it. 57.46 is what we're getting on the tires. I get some blood circulation in my hand again so I can feel it. Like I'm right here. We're done. Get going. The guy behind has just done a 19.4. So, hopefully we find a good place to merge back. Thanks, man. I had something just pop up on my screen when I got right behind you. I about flipped out. No idea how this is going to cycle out with how long that run was and how all over the place we were. I'll tell you one thing, though. I'm going to be much more gentle on the throttle this time around if it's going to be that bad. Charles is really new in. The gap's now 5.9 seconds. P16. Drive it a little bit harder, probably. Try to balance out that right front. Lemons is leading the race. Gavin's in the lead. He's not having as much trouble, it sounds like. Or he's just better at dealing with it. We're driving in, killing the right front. That's the plan this run. We're just straight up doing diamond line. I guess. Thanks, I don't have any better ideas. Your last lap time was at 19.6. Gavin's coming in for his pit stop. That lap was a 19.5. The gap to Charles behind is increasing. It's now 6.7 seconds. Car outside. Outside, clear. It's 16th. One thing I want to do, B16. brake bias all the way forward, because turns out you do not want that backward, so I guess I'm glad I didn't have it where I intended to have it at the start. Completely wrong on uh, how that was going to go. Car outside. We'll see how this works out. Our diamond line. We gotta try something because I can't. I I'm gonna spin out at some point if I keep having the car handling like it did that last run. That was almost undrivable. What a crazy good race, though. I mean, not for us. I'm driving terribly, but the race itself, we had that one early caution, and then nothing. The gap in front is now. Look how difficult this is to drive. That's impressive from everybody. You want to watch your water temperature. It's looking a little high. Water temperature warning again. See if we can get a lap back, I guess. I don't know how many laps down I am, but it's three or more, I think. Oh, it's two, okay. That'd be worse. You're reeling this car in. The gap's now 5.2.
just done a 19.6. We're raising Alan earlier. He's about four seconds up. Phew. Sorry, he's had a sneeze. Lost track of where it was there. That lap time was 19.7. Well, I'm usually pretty good at killing my right front, so you'd think I'd be good at doing it here. That's the idea. Trying to make the right front as awful as the right rear was. Balance it out a little bit more. See how it works out. P15. Just can't spin it. Got a loose there for a second. James has left. I wonder if he gave himself a penalty or something. It's unfortunate. He was having a good race. I think he was ahead of us at one point. I know he was, actually, but... That was a running around the same area. Dante leaves. Be some more pit, pit penalties going on? I have no idea. Got on fuel to the end, though. I don't know if everybody's going to be that way. Go ahead, Alan. Thank you, sir. Car outside. was a 19.9. Clear high. 15th place. Alan in there, trying not to waste any of his time. Oh my lord. Seconds. This thing's awful. Your lap time was 20.2. Making 12th there. Son of a... Outside. Clear high. I see you, Dan. <laughs> no idea if this is working. You've just done a twenty point one. Button up to Alan. Cutting down. I didn't expect him to do that. Car outside. Go low. Outside is clear. Around him. P14. P14. You've just done a 20.1. The gap behind has increased to 0 0.8. Thank you. No problem. That was a 20.0. Frank's up there, he's the next one for position. Eight car. Okay, Colton, there's a car exit in the pit, heads up.
Two cars battling for P2 right here. smart about how I approach this. 13th place, the gap to Vincent ahead is now 1.1 seconds. Side by side, I just gotta wait. Decreased to 0.6. That lap was at 20.4. Outside. We're stuck. Got the Toyota yeah, fresher tires behind us. Keep low. The lap time was at 20.6. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Still there. Still there, hold your line. You're in the middle, three wide. You're in the middle, three wide. 14th. That lap time was Still hold. 20.4. Clear outside, two wide. Clear. Until it gets around us. It's got the fresher tires though. It's such a mess. B13. I let them get single file and then I, I just had to go, especially with Dakota coming up. I don't know if that was the right way to go about it or not. Still good to the end, just barely, but still good. Car outside. Be off the pace. Keep low. Clear outside. Well, I'm not getting as crazy loose as I was last run yet, but still, there's plenty of time. B12's not all that bad, though. Let's see if we get asked again. Pitched it into the freaking corner there. Ah, so freaking difficult. Zero. Barely drive this thing. It's starting to get loose again, I guess. Right when I say something. P12, I don't know if we've got more people that are going to come up behind us and pass. Could be the case. Your last lap time was at 20.6. The gap behind is now 3.1 seconds. It's like Mitch is catching up to us as the P2 car. I'm picking Colton. Yeah, he's pitting. Pit no. That 
last lap was a 20.3. So we'll get around to him, but he'll probably come past us again with his fresh tires. No grip there. Who knows if I'm even getting on my right front any more than I was before. Still starting to feel really loose again. And trying to be easier on exits as well. To let Mitch by when he gets here. Still got about a lap before he does, though, I think. Easy, pal. Just because you got first tires doesn't mean you can just throw it anywhere. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. That was a 20.6. B11. The car in front, pity. Mitch point four behind. Taking him a little longer than I expected. Sorry, Gavin. Are you good? The gap to King behind is now three point zero. Just about here. Your last lap time was at car inside. Clear. So a P11, but here comes Sean. He's going to come take that back. Didn't even really take them all that long. Bottom open. Car inside. Clear inside. Nick King coming up on us. He's got better tires. Car inside. Stay high. Clear. P13. That lap was at 20.7. Can't believe we've gone caution free so so long. With all these different tire strategies going around. Daniel down there. Off pace. Car inside. Clear. I'm sorry, Connor. Very good. No boogie. You got better tires than I do. I just shouldn't have set it in that deep. That was a 20.4. Dude, I'm practically a rolling traffic gun at this point. I'm not a different bed. I think I'm happy with uh, this line I've decided to take. This inter-low diamond line. I think it's doing better for tire wear. As dumb as it looks. As much as it feels counterintuitive to how I normally want to treat my tires. 
Oh my gosh, it's still kicking sideways a lot though. Oh god. More lead lap guys coming up. That lap was a guys that are not going to want to waste their time with me. Inside. Still there. Captain Inside. King. Clear. Head is increasing. It's now 2.7. Okay, Colton. Your engine temperatures are now back to normal. Oh, that looks like to catch Dan there. Still there, hold your line. Outside is clear. <laughs> Gavin coming in his third place run. Shouldn't be too much longer before he gets here. It's actually stalled out a little bit. That lap time was 20.4. The answer, King. Ahead is increasing. It's now we'll let him go this time. Seconds. Inside. The gap behind is now 4.4 seconds. Clear. The car behind is pitting. P12. The leader is coming up on you. They're not at fight. Race is coming to pass us again? Oh boy. Here's a couple spots back. Go ahead, Wesley. Car inside. You've just done a 20.5. Clear. Clear. Oh, that's brand new. Tight right there. Second behind us before. Got okay. another person by. I'm back in tight and running up into you. Your lap time was 20.7. I can't even pay attention to anything but my driving right now. Basically about a second back. Gonna get around again. Still two laps down, we're about to go a third. The car in front of us is King. This atrocious, awful race for me. I don't think I would have been much better even if I did get to keep my qualifying spot. Like I clearly just don't understand how to drive this. Gavin, obviously, he just got around us. B12. Whew. You've just done a pitting the flat, pitting the flat. Some people are still pitting, I guess. They still have pit stops to make. That's interesting. I don't think it matters that we eliminated a pit stop before we're this slow, anyway. Wow, okay. We get a yellow. I don't think I came down. I am so sorry if I did. What do we even do here? 
Pace car is out. Line up single file. Man, I am very zero, thankful eight. for you giving me Run room the there. Pits are closed. Oh, okay, my wrists hurt. As soon as I moved my wrists out of steering wheel position, I realized how much pain they were in. Caught up as soon as we can. Catch up, 77, car. Car, 97. Got the lucky dog, let them past on the outside. I don't know if there's gonna be a wave around for us. Uh, lap cars can go in as soon as it opens, right? Pit road's open. So we're able to go on this lap. Pits are open. Is that correct? I, I don't know, because I'm way back here, so I'm not gonna be the one. Helping people out, but the leader, header. There's people pit. staying out, so I'm just gonna have to come in and pit, I guess. Look out for the pit speed limit. Okay, we'll fill you to the end. Pit box in three, two, one. Right here. I don't know if I was supposed to pit there or not. Yeah, I didn't either. 80, 80. I, uh, so apparently that is how I need to drive it if I want to keep it even. But I don't know. Yeah, that's all some go in and some not, I don't know. Okay, go! <laughs> Lead left cars have to wait until the second time around. Line up, Copy single left smile. cars can pit when it says it's open. I don't know if they were supposed to pit there. I don't know if I was supposed to pit there, but... Well, well then I screwed that up. Carbine. Same for me. Lepa, 97. Carbine. Full course yellow. Pits are open. Catch up, 97. Car, half right. 97. Car. Why are we passing Brandon now? Catch that, 24, car. Alright. Two laps down. We needed a fresh set of tires, though. One lap to green. Line up on the Get outside. Ready. Place resume at the end of this lap. Brandon have a penalty or something, maybe? Sure. Line About to go green, stay focused. Right, we're gonna be getting out of the way as soon as we can. The pace car is off, be ready. Green, 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 green. Nick was not ready to go. Outside. Outside, clear. Oh my god. You just slapped the wall on the straightaway. Outside. Outside, clear. Fastest lap for header. You're in the top ten. Tenth Somehow in the top ten. This is all kinds of mixed up. I have no idea what's going on. I'm gonna just keep doing what I did last run, I guess, because it worked. In terms of uh, getting the tires behaving the way I wanted. It's hitting the wall. That Gavin hitting the wall a couple times. Maybe we'll find a situation where we can uh, get the way around.
I'm not going to try to pass the code or anything. I'm not really even pushing that hard right now because it doesn't really matter what I do. Maybe try to catch Sean if we can, but not a huge deal. It's not like we're fighting for Lucky Dog or anything. Sorry about that, man. He's hit the wall a lot, I think. The gap is 0.5. That last light was at 19.2. Okay, Colter, your water temperature's creeping up. That lap time was 19.5. Presti hasn't let uh, Dakota by yet. Though I guess Dakota's not racing anyone in front of him either. Because we're all so mixed up on our laps. You've just done a 19.4. Uh oh, I see smoke. Looks like whoever it was, whoever it was, caught it though. Might be able to get to the inside of Sean here. Car outside. Outside is clear. Outside. Clear outside if you want it. Outside. Keep low. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Stay low. Outside, clear. B9. Passing Nick there. Header, he's leading the race. Somehow in ninth place. Nineteen point six. So I think this sorry, is as far man. forward as we can go. Your lap time was 19.7. Ooh, you're good. That was a hell of a save, though, if I do say so myself. If they wreck again, we need everybody in front to pit. Put ourselves on the another lap Our forward, lap but so much. Too bad there's not a uh, two laps down Lucky Dog. <laughs> I think that uh, we'd be in position for that. Coda in front of us is one lap down, I think. It's the first car one lap down, so he's Lucky Dog position. If I'm not mistaken. First car two laps down, yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Time was at nineteen point nine. Fortunately, not very competitive race for us since we've been stuck laps down. But we still could get a top ten out of this amazingly. Your last lap time was at nineteen point eight. Which is pretty shocking. 
considering how bad we were for so long. Started getting some handling issues, maybe? Seems like he slowed down a little bit. Maybe not. Small right there, I can't do that too often. You've just done a nineteen point nine. It's taking a wider entry, that suggests to me that maybe he's feeling like he's getting loose. I see some smoke up there. Coming to 40 to go. Major endurance race here tonight. Feels even longer when you're dealing with uh, handling issues too, that's for sure. We would need some more cautions, but I don't think they're going to happen with how clean this has been. The gap behind is now 0.8. All right, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. About the same speed as Dakota, I think, despite the fact that we are uh, taking a very, very different line. Starting to get that little bit of looseness, I feel. really early there. The gap behind is now 1.3. That was a uh, 20.1. My butt hurts sitting in the seat for so long. Okay, closer to the end though. 266 completed. Was a 20.2. More smoke. Oh, I'm making some smoke, I think. <laughs> I was going to say some more smoke up ahead. Keep it up. The gap behind's increased to 1.7. Got a nice gap behind us. Maybe we can get ourselves our P9. Lap time was 20.3. 
too much to talk about here. We've got no one to race since uh, we've pulled away from Sean back there. And uh, no one else on our lap right now. Kind of just following Dakota. Probably giving him many heart attacks every time I drive in 300 times harder than he does. Because our lines are different. I'm still sticking to the extra hard entry so that way I can get on that right front. It seems to work out much better for me than whatever happened to that first run. Clicking the laps off at this point. That's 26 to go, I believe. The gap behind is now 3.2 seconds. Well, we get another caution. I didn't expect we were going to get any more cautions after seeing how long the race went green for a while there. It's getting a little bit loose up ahead, looks like. It's interesting, we're actually catching Mitch, I think. That's the kind of thing that makes me think, what if? So if I were on the lead lap, I would be able to come up and patch, pass Mitch on a long run. I maybe could have had a good day, but... First run was just so horrendous, no chance. God, he's breaking really hard. You've just done a twenty point four. Pitch down low. I'm like he's having some handling issues. Or if he's got the looseness I was feeling early on. You're gaining on the car in front. The gap's now three point five seconds. That feels surprisingly good right now. The entries I've been doing, I think, are working. I think we should be stable enough for the end run here. Mitch isn't stable, though. Oh my gosh, she did a full drift through the corner there. This tires are still going to be hot, though. I think we're probably faster than Dakota at this point, but there's no reason for me to pass him. Other than the fact I can see Nick now, actually. That's kind of interesting. Did he pit? What happened there? How am I probably catching him? I don't think we are catching him. It's still kind of just hanging around 3.1-ish. The 
lap was a 20.3. Good start, Mark. I'm surprised we're even on his lap. I thought he was on the lead lap. That's kind of confusing. can catch Nick. I'm gonna let you go here, Colton, I want to. Car outside. Clear outside. Thanks. Wow. Alright, we'll see what we can do then. We got about a little more than 10 laps to go, I think. 11, in fact. Let's see if we can go catch Nick. Seems to be pretty far off the pace some, for some reason. I have to hurry, though. He's 1.5 ahead. There's not much race left to go. I don't know if we're going to have enough time. The gap behind is now 4.9. He's there, but I don't know if we're going to be able to get around him, even if we can't reach him. Seven to go. The lap time was at twenty point four. Okay, Colton, push now. We can catch up here. The gap in front has increased to one point one. Take it here one and two, Brandon. You've got one gallon left. Got fuel, right? One gallon left. Thank you. Yeah, just there. You got five left to go. Your lap time was Time to push. Two more. Let's go. Remaining. We're not going to have enough time. An effort at it, though. You just got the white flag. That means one more lap to go. You've got about five laps of fuel. White flag, one more lap. You've just done a. I'm not even trying. I just forget the wall and lost my control of it. Right there, buddy. <sighs> Yeah, good win, good battling with you and uh, Mitch for a while there. Yeah, no we control of the car the entire race here, but we'll get ninth. Yeah, that was fun. I was happy I was able to pass it in my lap back. Chicken flag, chicken flag. Good result, Mike. Well done. Nice job, Mike. Well done. Chicken flag, chicken flag. Nice run. Solid work. Good race, everybody. I really don't have anything to say about yeah, that. that. I was just race, terrible. Yeah. Yeah, Nick, that was fun, man. I was just parking on the bottom. <laughs> that was fun, fun, man. Good oh, job. 283. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like that's what I had to do in order for it to not get too loose. 
You can see the left rear is still much more worn than the left front. Probably a big reason why it was still feeling loose. <sighs> Only four people on the lead lap. That's crazy. We somehow get ninth, which really isn't bad at all, especially starting 17th. Long endurance race, and unfortunately I didn't get to feel like I was part of it for most of it. After the multiple crashes at the start. Thankfully, not of my car, but of my computer. But this was a long one and a tough one. Tracy says 78, 78. I had 82, 83, but I don't know what uh, laps everyone was pitting and stuff. I'll talk. I'll talk about all the stuff in the. Uh, actual um discord and stuff well i'm trying to uh go look at the race results but it's looking like it's glitched out i don't know what's wrong with my computer right now it's doing some weird stuff like i tried to click on race results and it just the page glitched out so i don't know what that means but <laughs> I guess I'll give it a minute and see if it if it actually ends up working. But man, at least I was able to keep it clean when I wasn't quite sure how it was going to go, given my lack of practice. But I think that's uh, Mitch maybe gets the championship. I don't know. Gavin had a good run, though. He was, wasn't he P2 in the standings? Something like that. Yeah, my uh my Google Chrome just crashed, so I guess uh I guess that's it. Sorry. Uh, I don't know what's going on with my computer, but I'll have to sort that out. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.